How do you recycle a Sony PlayStation? That is a great question. I'm Angela Brown and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question and I get to help you find an answer. Now, since the pandemic, lots of people are at their homes and now we are decluttering and we're clearing out our storage units and our homes and our closets and that scary room. Now, I actually know what's inside this box today that I brought inside our clutter corner and it is a Sony PlayStation. And I've already asked the homeowner how we're gonna deal with this, but I brought it here because I wanted for us to be able to go through this together so we could get some of those questions answered and set new rules about the things that we bring into the clutter corner. For those of you that are just joining us, the clutter corner is just a table. You can set it up anywhere you want. What you do is you bring a box one at a time to the clutter corner and then you make decisions about what is inside the box and you make decisions about that type of item from here through the rest of your life. That way when you go shopping, you don't buy any more of the same items if we're getting rid of them. If we're donating them now, it means we're not using them in our lives. So instead of trying to rumble through a whole entire house and trying to make lots of decisions at once, we're doing it one at a time. So let's take everything out of the box, which is the first rule, we're gonna take everything out and we're gonna make a look at it to see is there anything we wanna keep or anything that we wanna to toss. Then we're gonna put the things that we're gonna donate back inside the box. At the end of this session, the box goes away. It goes to the Goodwill or it goes to the Salvation Army, or if it's electronics, we might recycle it at a place like Best Buy. This is an unboxing of a different sort. I love it. All right, so I've got a couple of photo albums. We'll take a look at those. I've got some books. We'll take a look at what's in there. I have some VHS tapes and a DVD and another VHS tape. And I'm gonna stack these all in like stacks so that they will be easy to, to decide on. I've got a pouch of electronics. I have a Sony PlayStation and some game consoles. I have a container of what looks like a cord of some sort. I have more VHS tapes. I have some CDs. I have a box, which is an anniversary edition of Star Wars. And I have a brand new packet of video cables. All right, so that is my empty box. That was our unboxing. And this is all the stuff we have here on our table. So I'm just gonna leave this right here because there's actually room for it. And we're gonna put this stuff back in at the end of the session, it goes away. So let's start with, this is a brand spanking new gift box of the Star Wars trilogy, and it probably was very valuable, or maybe it's still valuable today. I asked the homeowner, what do you wanna do about the VHS tapes? And they said, I no longer own a VHS machine. And I said, is it safe to assume then that as we go through your storage unit and your home, that any VHS tapes we find, we're gonna donate? And they said, I may wanna look at them, and I said, are you going to keep them as in watching them? And they said, no, I don't even own a VHS player anymore. And so I repeated the question, is it safe then to assume that if you no longer own a VHS player and you'll never be able to watch them, that it's safe to assume we can get rid of them? And they said, well, they're probably valuable. Like this particular set was probably valuable. They said, could you give it to someone who would appreciate it? And so my answer is yes, I'm gonna, we're gonna donate it. We're gonna give it away. We're not gonna keep it though. And so by having VHS tapes in your home and knowing that you no longer have a player that plays them, that's where the rule comes in. Is it safe to assume? And we always ask it that way. Is it safe to assume we can donate this to someone else because we no longer have a machine that's gonna read this? In any universe, are you gonna be buying a new VHS? And they said, no, not under any circumstances at all. If I wanna watch these movies again, I can stream them. And I said, okay, great, that gives me a lot of permission, okay? So what we're looking for is permission to advance. As I'm going through these other VHS tapes, some of them may be great movies. I see one here that says hey, High Anxiety. It's probably hard to get a hold of. It's a very funny uh, VHS from a long, long time ago, and I've seen it before, I love it. So part of me is like, oh, that's a really cool show. And a part of me wants to keep it. But one of the other rules of the Clutter Corner is when you're helping someone else, no one takes the stuff home. So if you're a professional organizer or you are a house cleaner or you are a relative and you are helping someone else go through their stuff, you do not get to keep it on the way out the door.
okay? Because that just recycles the clutter. So we're, we have to give it away to someone else that's not related to us. All right, so it's safe to assume we're gonna just put all these uh, VHSs in here and we're not gonna look at them. We're not gonna get sentimental about any of them. We're just gonna give them away because we have clearance from the homeowner. Um, the, the DVDs, he said if there's a DVD I might like and he specifically said, if you come across any that are animatronics or they are from the Cirque du Soleil collection. I find one from the Cirque du Soleil collection, so we will keep this, but all of these others, total recall. Sorry, Arnold, we're gonna put this inside our recycling box. Okay, so the only one we're gonna keep was specifically by the homeowner, keep these of this particular type. So we keep one DVD. Inside this pouch, I have a cord or a cable, and oddly enough, it was labeled that this is the, the camera cord that goes to the computer. The camera has since been recycled, and so we don't need this, and we're not even gonna keep the pouch that it came in. Is it good? Yes, it's good. Someone else can enjoy it. This has been in a box in a storage unit for probably 15 years. Nobody is gonna use it from this household. All right, again, VHS cables or cables, electronic cables, these are in the package. They've never been used. The homeowner never used them. We're gonna pass them on. Those go back in here. Here's a brand spanking new cable. It's probably valuable. We're gonna put it in the recycling box and we're gonna recycle it with this PlayStation 2. Now, this is an older PlayStation. I think now they have PlayStation 6. So a PlayStation 2, it's probably outdated as is the software. Now, I was unsure because I don't know games very well. I asked the homeowner, actually texted them, and I said, hey, I found a PlayStation in one of these boxes. Do you want me to keep it? And they said, is it the one in the bedroom? And I said, no. And they said, is it the one that was near the Christmas trees? And I said, no, this was another one that was stored in this particular area. And they said, oh, then throw that away or give that away. Okay, now I wanna stop for just a second about PlayStations. There are several places. If you have game consoles, if you have remote controls, if you have uh, PlayStations and things like that, Sony PlayStation has a take back program where they will recycle it for you. Also, Microsoft Xbox has a take back program where they will recycle it for you and give you a credit. Best Buy has a program where they will take back your PlayStations and your game consoles and your remote controls and things like that, and they will recycle that as well. Also, Staples, which is an office supply store, has a take back program. So there are several different places, and I will leave links in the show notes to the electronic places that will take your stuff back and they will recycle them. And on this table, I have some workbooks with karaoke songs. These are, this is a directory of karaoke songs that go with the CDs that are stored inside this collection. So all of the songs from this collection are inside these books. So I asked the homeowner, do you wanna keep the karaoke songs? And they were really hesitant for a minute and they said, I haven't sung karaoke in years. But if I did, there's probably a streaming service that I could subscribe to where the stuff would just pop up on the screen and I don't need to pop the CDs in and out of the machine. So they gave me permission. Again, with that permission, we went one step further. Is it safe to assume then that any karaoke songs that we find or karaoke albums or directories that we find in your home, would that be okay to pass on? And they said, yes. In fact, if you even find any microphones or karaoke machines, we know we're done with that part of our lives for now. So permission to proceed. All right, so that is our clutter corner for today. We got rid of a PlayStation, some karaoke stuff, some VHSs, and we set some new rules about those things because those are things that this particular homeowner is not gonna be using at this phase of their life. And so as you go through the clutter corner, box by box, if you make a new rule, what that says is when you go out shopping, and you find a whole great big bin of VHS tapes that are on sale, what do we know? We know that we are never going to use them again. And that is not how we're gonna be streaming our information. And so we're able to walk right by that bin and not even look inside. We're not gonna spend any time or any energy getting nostalgic about old movies or fun things we used to see because that's not part of our lives anymore. So it gives us permission then to not reintroduce those things if we're out at a yard sale or a garage sale or a thrift store or a place like that, all right? So that's it for today. If you have questions or comments, those go in the notes below. And until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.